Good morning and thank you for joining us for our Monday Morning Renew. We're looking forward to getting into the Word here together with all of you this week. And actually, over the next three weeks for our Monday Renew, we're going to talk about three words. Seek, do, and teach. Found out of Ezra chapter 7 and verse number 10. I want to read that verse here. It says, For Ezra had prepared his heart first to seek the law of the Lord. Then it says, and to do it. And then it says, and to teach in Israel statutes and judgments. Seek, do, and teach. So today's devotional, we're going to focus on seek, and it's entitled, The Value of Seeking the Lord. Speaking of seeking, how many of you have ever played that game, Hide and Seek, right? That childhood game. And uh, it was always fun. It's always fun to be able to go hide. But I'll tell you what, to be able to go seek, you're going after to try and find that person. And today's devotion, what we want to think of is seeking, going after the Lord. You know, we all have ambitions and desires. And while these are not necessarily wrong, we should analyze our priorities by asking these questions. Where do I invest my time and my energy? What or who occupies my thoughts? As important as our earthly pursuits, responsibilities, and relationships may be, they cannot compare to the value of a life spent seeking the Lord. Let's first consider what it means to seek something. The word connotes a strong desire and an energetic quest to achieve it. Suppose we discovered a very productive vein of gold on our property, on your property. You wouldn't just stroll out and look at it occasionally. No, what would we do? We would get the proper equipment and diligently chip away at the rocks and collect that precious metal. You know, in the same way, seeking the Lord is not a quick or occasional encounter, but a wholehearted effort to know him more intimately and follow him more closely. Those who unreservedly pursue this kind of fellowship with God are determined to spend time with him. They also want to forsake anything that could hinder growth in their relationship with the Lord. God's committed followers boldly claim his promises and trust he will fulfill his word. Their experiences with the Lord bring amazing satisfaction, yet cause them to hunger and desire for more and more and more of him. You know, the Christian life is meant to be a pursuit of God, to walk through the door of salvation and stand still. Never drawing any closer to him, though, is to miss the treasures that are available in Christ. Those who seek him soon discover that knowing him is the greatest reward of all. I wonder how many of you today could say the greatest reward of all is continuing to seek and to know the Lord. Two more verses I want to leave with you real quick. The first one is found in Psalm 119, verse 1 and 2, and it says this, Blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the law of the Lord. And then verse number 2 says this, Blessed are they that keep his testimonies and that seek him with the whole heart. Are you seeking God with your whole heart today? I also love Matthew 6 and verse number 33 that says, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, as we look into your word today, I pray that it will be desire for each and every one of us to seek you, to go after you, to pursue after you, to get to know you more and more. And uh, God, I pray that uh, today, this week, that you would desire within each and one of our hearts that we would have a desire to seek you. Thank you for allowing us to dig into your word today. And I pray you give us all a wonderful day, a wonderful Monday. In Jesus' name, amen. Remember, 
week one of Seek, Do, and Teach for the next three weeks of our Monday Renew, The Value of Seeking God. Have a great rest of your day, and I want to encourage you today, get to know the Lord, seek after Him today.